All right. Well, um, you know, I haven't seen your movie yet, so I think that's uh, that way I can't spoil anything, right? <laughs> um, do you have uh, like a uh, prepared statement that you you do have like a tagline for the sort of a tagline for the movie, right? Yeah, which using? is engineering the strings of your mind puzzle. Uh, I just wanted to make just a, make it just weird enough so it get a, it would get attention. But it's kind of a, the idea also behind the movie. It's uh, in a different, uh, in a weird way because it's. Uh, it's dealing with mainly with uh, drugs, you know, that this uh, overconsumption of drugs by uh, by regular people. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's happening as well in the U.S., where where the, the intention is more to have customers uh, now instead of finding cures. You know what I mean? Yes. So there's a, a, an overuse of that, and uh, I sort of wanna, but in a very very metaphorical way. It's not necessarily obvious, but. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and who are manipulating these little things behind, you know? And there are some sort of weird forces, weird characters controlling people around this uh, the the pharmaceutical pharmacu pharmaceutical pharmaceutical industry. And that's yeah. a tough word for me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> with my accent. And that. Yes. And uh, yeah, and uh, also it's uh, it's kind of a I want to wanted to give the vibe of. Um, of how people are uh, always being spied upon these days for many different reasons, you know, whether it's on the web or cameras everywhere and all that stuff. And it's sort of, again, this very gray area where everybody's kind of spying on everybody and you, you're trying to find who's who's actually doing what and for what reason. So, but again, in a very abstract way, so people can actually make their own ideas of... Because mm -hmm. I think it's more of an experienced movie than, than an actual typical narrative storyline although there is one but it really kind of uh, takes a while to for people to get what the ideas are you gotta wait till the end of the movie to see some things connecting with the the first scene that seem tip, uh, just like a, as vignettes but uh, they aren't really actually like that so it's okay. very deconstructed in that way you know so yeah and that's actually um, something I was going to ask about your approach is I, I'd say uh, when people are making these weird abstract movies, mm -hmm. there's sort of a spectrum. And on one end, it's this movie has a very definite meaning and you're supposed to puzzle it out. Mm -hmm. Which would be like a Donnie Darko or something like that, where it has an actual story that the author intends for yeah, you yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't just make weird stuff just right. to make weird stuff. At know? the other end is the, you know, completely surrealist, uh -huh. supposed to have, it's intended to have no meaning. And if you're making up a story in your head, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you know, that's your business. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's it's kind of a blend of both, to be honest. I'm kind of a doing an hybrid thing, which is very hard to convince investors that way, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm using, you know, monsters, cheap movie-looking like stuff that could be commercial, and but again, giving all these ideas and making it work in a very different kind of way. So uh, that stuff. But uh, how it began for me for this one? was uh, I had my, my actor, Laurent, who uh, played in a few of my things before. And, um, and uh, I, had, I decided one day to do a photo shoot with him in the, with a character I just, that popped up in my mind. Ah, this could be interesting, this could be interesting. Oh, so let's try this. So I said, oh, are you willing to do this, this, this balloon guy character? Mm -hmm. And he said, oh yeah, no problem. Uh, when we went to do the shoot in the park, the original shoot, I said, well, bring a couple of stuff from your your house, just props you might think might be useful and all, you know? <laughs> so he did bring stuff like uh, the woman's shoes. I don't know if you... It's probably not in the trailer, but in, no, it's in the movie. No, I didn't catch it in the trailer. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not there, actually. So, so I said, oh, okay, but you already got boots on, so what am I going to do with, the, with yeah. those woman's shoes? And I was surprised he had that, and uh, actually he did some role playing, and he's pretty. And he used to do weird stuff on his own, which I didn't know really. Hmm. And uh, so I said, okay, we're gonna use them for the photo shoot. I improvise uh, some ideas, and we went to the park and did that stuff. And uh, and for a year, at least a year, 
I was working uh, to to make another movie actually, and that got stalled for a few reasons. And I and I was like, ah, oh, this was so depressing to me. And I was like, shit, I gotta shoot another movie. I gotta do something creative. You know, I was you know getting the desire to just move on and do stuff because there, there was also a financing issue with with the other one. So I started bringing those ideas uh, and I talked to Laurent, blah, blah, blah. So we got some uh, investors interested. You know, it's a very limited movie. But I, I said, okay, wait a minute, because uh, I don't have a story for it, but I want this character. I'm going to use this character, but I need to find his origins now yeah. because it was just a trippy photo shoot to begin with. So, uh, and I had other ideas for other scenes about this and that, which are sort of uh, the, the ideas I uh, often play around. And, I, and, you know, scenes like uh, that could be good for a sketch or whatever. I said, OK, I'm just going to film a bunch of trippy stuff and uh, I just pull, up, pull out some ideas on the, uh, the paper and uh, see where that goes. And eventually, uh, as much as I like surreal stuff that's ab uh, very abstract and trippy, uh, I, I always have to confront my rational, logical side. Mm -hmm. I said, I cannot just be just random trippy stuff because uh, might annoy people you yeah. know at one point it's not gonna be uh, enough commercial or whatnot although I don't consider this one commercial but uh, and I uh, rationalized everything and made thing click together you know and made sense out of those scenes so that's how it generated it came from something weird but then I justified pretty much everything yeah. in, in the thing some things you might not find at all some are weird uh, just for for the fun aspect of it, uh, but very little actually in the end because it meant something, you know. And I'm I'm, I'm curious how people will actually interpret those things. I'm, I'm and and when I was talking about the spectrum and you said the middle, I, there there's also the uh, road that I think is taken by David Lynch and Jodorowsky, mm. which is it means something to them, but they're not necessarily going to clue the audience in. Yeah, that's also, it has a personal meaning. Yeah, absolutely, and that's why I'm I'm, I'm always trying to not say too much. I think I've because I've done other interviews. I, I I realize I'm saying a little bit too much. Uh, you don't want to give away all the secrets. No, I don't want you that. Let people. Uh, no, I'd rather hear their interpretation. I'd rather right. hear what they Which think. Which is what of, David you know? David Lynch yeah. says. You know, yeah, I thought it's, it's that's great. That's just that my way. you know. That's just my idea about the movie. I want to hear what you think about yeah. the movie and you know, what you come up with in your mind. Yeah, that, that, that's it's, it's more rewarding actually in a, in, a, in a way, you know, to see how people to let react. The people, and, uh, yeah, work on it. So that's why I'm, I will try to avoid most questions, you know, uh, at least details and whatever. You know? Right. Well, I since I haven't seen yeah, the movie so yet, a, I can't well, ask those right. questions. So, uh, <laughs> uh, any. Um, just going by the trailer and, and what you said, there is there a. Uh, uh, B movie horror mm -hmm. influence. To yeah, it? well, that that, that reason the the reason I think I did it for uh, this way is what was because I like gimmicky stuff as well. You know, as much as I've seen so much, uh, I like old monsters. I've been yeah. tripping out on uh, old Italian horror movies from the '80s and all that stuff. Uh, and I always, and you know, obviously Star Wars with those costumes, and I always like design and creatures. I actually started in special effects as uh, oh. also, you know, sculpting and all that, that stuff. But I dropped out of this because it was less interesting to me to, I couldn't, you know, pull out my ideas, which was getting more important for me. Uh, and I always, I loved all our movies since I was a teenager, even before, actually quite younger, in fact. Uh, and. I wanted to, I said, if I'm going to do uh, another movie, I, maybe I can exercise all these horror aspects I would like to see in a, uh, in a movie and just do it my way so I can blend, you know, all my influences and get everything out of with this one and went, went all the way, you know, uh, mm -hmm. with this in the kind of way. Although there, there's not, not actually a lot of uh, creature action in mm -hmm. the movie, but uh, enough that it could be interesting to, for me to expel these out uh, basically right, and your your previous movie was more uh, sci-fi and almost yeah. very that was uh seemed a lot more uh, uh narrative based yeah absolutely acres yeah yeah because the uh, because there was dialogue, you could hear the character going through all fa his phases as well as the other one, the previous character that uh, he's actually listening uh, onto his arm, and yeah, this was much more narrative. Uh, although some people call it this this movie experimental, I'm like, no, this is the straightest well, thing. Well, it's <laughs> very it's very experimental. You, uh, you kind of lose when when. Uh, Probably like me, you're watching all the weird stuff. You mm -hmm. kind of lose perspective as to what the average I, I guess so, person yeah. Yeah. thinks is, is strange, you know. Yeah. So, 
yeah, I mean, that might be the, yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be right anyway. Um, so yeah, so but this with this one with all the ideas at the beginning, I realized I, in, when I was doing the rational uh, the rationalization process uh, through it, it's like, oh fuck, fuck trying to make it too understandable. You know, I'm just gonna go all the way because if you don't go all the way, you wind up with something that's half-assed and that's not rewarding. Right. If you're just trying to please everybody or try to make something too clear or just so Mr. X understand the whole thing. That was not interesting to, enough to me for this month. And, and the, the other thing that makes it pretty, uh, pretty uh, less understandable is the fact that there's no dialogue in the movie besides a few scenes. Mm -hmm. And when, whenever uh, uh, those scenes have dialogue, they're uh, a mysterious dialect. So it's like you just gotta understand what they, they actually want to say, you know. I don't know if you, you've probably seen Ha, the uh, Steve no, Aran. I've not. You I've heard of it, but okay, because because it. it's kind of funny that because uh, I saw it for the first time last week. It's been out for 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 uh, for a year, but at the festival they were playing this one. It's like holy shit, at you know. At this festival? No, the oh, the, uh, okay. the Perth in Perth, and. Uh, and I was like, holy shit, they did a whole movie as well with, you know, fake dialogue, which is uh, just a uh, monkey talk, basically, you know? So, yeah, yeah. No, and, I want to see that one. And that's uh, pretty cool, There man. was a, a French movie called Them Rock that I haven't seen that has a similar... Oh, I think idea. I know the name, but I've never seen it, no. I haven't seen it either. Mm. It's not easy to find. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I think it's also all, a, all in a fake language. And But the interesting thing with Ah, uh, that, that movie... Uh, is that the director actually uh, wrote um, the whole script with actual dialogue and he gave it out to his uh, actors and say you gotta understand what this means but this interpret it as, as, yeah. as, a, as an ape you know so it was like oh that's interesting an interesting yeah. process to just reverse the idea but I've actually having written the thing before which was not the case with, with my movie you know uh, for, for you, those scenes actually. did you write out a fake language uh, well yeah, or well, did you just tell them I didn't write nonsense. I, I just said actually, just uh, just for one scene, I said just do your regular dialogue, uh, improvise some some stuff, and I'm gonna overdub it anyway. Oh, you know, okay. with some other mm -hmm. stuff instead. You know, so that's what I did with uh, with at, at least two scenes like that. Yeah. Another thing from the description of the movie uh, you gave, it, it uh, sounded like uh, it was entering the world of uh, Philip K. Dick, except for the the fake. Yeah, because uh, some people have mentioned it, it's, it's got that sci-fi vibe, but I, I've, I've yet to touch that, understand that button, actually. Uh, really? Yeah, I was like, okay, was, maybe. Well, but... since I haven't seen it, but mm. you're talking about the conspiracy, paranoia, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And, uh... Well, it's more of a vibe, actually, because I needed to do a synopsis that was, you know, kind of meant something, but it, 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 there's uh, for people to read, you know, and say, okay, I'm getting to this, but if you read this and you watch the movie, they're not two different things, but they're not as narrative as, uh, as the actual uh, synopsis uh, is mm -hmm. in some kind of, because, you know, I wanted to make it confusing enough that people would be intrigued, but then they're going to be shown something completely different, not completely different, I get it, uh, but just different, more different than they would expect, you know, because because I don't know if you probably get the, this all the time, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to promote the thing, and I'm like, this is a re weird movie, and I say, and they, they say to me, oh, I'm, a, I'm okay with weird movies, I have no <laughs> problem with that, and then you show them the weird movie, and they're like, uh, I didn't get anything, and they're completely confused, and they hate the thing, it's, it's like, no, oh, well, I knew it, you know? It's a very small uh, audience, yeah. really, and, uh, you know, the uh, presenter tonight uh, said, weird movies are so popular right now, and I'm not sure I see it. But yeah, <laughs> they, you know, it's hard to gauge. I mean, yeah, I, it was, yeah, their, their definition is very different. I don't know if you've seen the yeah. Greasy Strangler, which is playing tomorrow I haven't night. Seen actually, it. Yeah. I've seen it, uh, see it already. So yeah, it's got that weirdness vibe, but it's made in a in a kookier way. You know, it's more still more of it looks a, John Waters kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's there's there definitely a John Waters vibe all throughout the thing. So I enjoyed it actually, but. Uh, when it gets too kooky, you know, when it get, gets too uh, basic, uh, you know, uh, it kind of annoy, annoys me, you know, I'd like, I'd like more of a, an intro, a intellectual vibe to stuff. Although, I, as, I, as I'm saying this, you're going to find many really cheesy bits in the movie, <laughs> my, my, my thing as well. But, you know, they're not, 
wink wink cinema basically is what I call these movies like hey we've made a reference look we're cool oh yeah I do not that, like that I don't like that too much shit, winking you know? yeah. Ugh, that wink wink cinema that's all because you know we're in a generation now that uh, of, of young people who uh, can have access to everything so they if somebody talks about uh, this and that they can look it up and like uh, they, they look like they're intelligent because they uh, They, they, they just research uh, quickly about it, and uh, but they've not have lived through all, all of these things, you know. And if they can make a reference to something, they are cool, you know. Yeah. So it's like, fuck those references. I, I You know, it's really getting on my nerves these days because yeah. that's pretty much what everybody is trying to do, you know. So I guess we shouldn't talk about movies that might have influenced you. Are, are influences different than references? Yeah, it's a it's total, total difference. But... Influences for this one, that's a good one, actually, besides the... It has to come from somewhere. Well, the, well it comes from observing people, basically, mm -hmm. in general, for me. Influences, direct influences, I don't think you're going to see those in, in, in this movie. I, I'm not trying to be pretentious at all. Uh, besides the cheesy monster, the, those, because I wanted them raw, and I think it all comes from Italian horror cinema, basically, you know, because they always had less resources, mm -hmm. and they look just quote unquote badly made but if you look like a movie like burial ground uh, that italian horror zombie movie i mean the zombie makeups are so fucking bad and but they're scary at the same time because they're not well designed you know as you can see when uh, I, I i'm not against well designed creatures uh, like uh, i don't know star wars or whatever i like those two but i like them when they're raw and just you know really ugly not you're not you cannot see a style you know what i mean when people are putting actual makeup on and things there's going to be imperfections and stuff like that like a zombie makeup is really i mean yeah because uh let's say just... um well which movie uh not necessarily return uh well the Even let's say Baba from uh, Day of the Dead, it's, it's got a great look, you know, but it, you can see that it's a makeup appliance right. nonetheless, you know. It's not raw like a full cheese zombie, you know, which is just portrayed. Uh, Probably they stuck some bits of meat on the yeah, actual and butcher. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and the butcher Rice Krispies and Kleenex and whatever. <laughs> so that's why I, tr I tried to do with this one. I just wanted to make them like a, not asymmetrical and... Uh, just random and uh, random spots of this and that so just so I think people will notice from the trailer uh, as I did that the, uh, the monster has uh, uh, balloons that oh yeah that main <laughs> that main guy yeah he has uh, uh, multiple multiple balloons that are coming out like penises yeah <laughs> So, yeah, I was afraid. I was like, Which people is, are going to think if this is a gay thing or not. But it's not. It's just because I wanted this this character to be... Uh, just if you're a killer, if you're, if you're just so uh, easy to, to spot, it'd be a problem. But then right. again, that's not, a, that's not a thing in this movie. Because I once, uh, I once uh, in a, an Halloween costume... Uh, I once wore a, a, a Halloween costume back in, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, where I was, uh, I had the Jason mask and I had a fluorescent, uh, 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 fluorescent shirt and also orange, bright orange pants and I, I called myself the, ob, uh, the too obvious Jason or something like that, like you would spot him anywhere, you know, it would be too easy, you couldn't be a killer that way. And I thought this was just a funny thing, basically, so... That, that's how well, it came the, out. But, but although there's a purpose with the with the balloons, which is the you know the the, the second part, like, like you're seeing them. Oh, okay, this is weird, but there's a usage for those actually. I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see the movie. I don't want to spoil it in this trailer actually, so that's why it's okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, when I eventually write up the movie and synopsize it, am I going to have to beware not to give away too many? Spoilers are, is it's going to be so abstract that well, it's going to be... No, you can make out stuff, actually, and but if you don't give out, you know, because there's a, there's a bunch of slow, what I call slow humor. There's a bunch of things that comes in the first part mm -hmm. that uh, if you, if you uh, reveal jokes that are coming later or show images, people uh, could be, like, linking. You know when you see a trailer and you see a shot and you're like... Uh, 
uh, and when you see the movie afterwards, you're like, oh, I know it's not gonna end because I remember that shot from the trailer, <laughs> yeah. you know? And I don't want to do this with this because it's gonna spoil so many little gags, you know? So that, that's hence the reason for this this trailer to be m even more cryptic than the okay. than the actual movie, just because I couldn't use some images because it would spoil gags that take a long while to build up, you know? So okay. it's kind of annoying if people n somehow know that it would be used for something else, you know what I mean? And so, uh, props this, and whatnot. you keep saying gags, so we are to think that this is going to be a little bit at least of a comedy. It is. For me, it's a, you know, I called it an experiment satire, with Asia, but ultimately it's it's a comedy in that respect, a satire of uh, many things, but there's a bunch of gags, but they, they take so long to, 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 to come out that you, you not, might not remember, you, you, you will not laugh directly out loud because you're gonna go, wait a minute, this was for that and that, that's fucking dumb, you know? So so it takes a while to to think about it, I guess, for some, I don't know, because I haven't discussed, the, the movie's brand new, so I've only had the chance to speak to a few people so far with the other fest. And uh, even my all my actors have not seen the movie at all. They uh, haven't yet. No, and they're gonna be there uh, Monday, and it's all gonna be a big reveal for them. So people that might go, "What the fuck, <laughs> you, you've so done?" So your uh, actors are gonna see it for the first time, Absolutely. and maybe they are not going to realize when they were shooting their individual yeah. parts how it was all going. Yeah, to look and all my actors, that. which uh, I have a lot of friends, and those don't even know that the other ones are playing in that movie either, you know? I've kept everything super secret, because that's my nature. I like to, you know, be the most unspoilery person I, I can in that respect, yeah. All right. yeah.